Welcome! E aí, galera, beleza? Bem-vindo à nossa comunidade. Welcome to our community. Hey, what's going on, guys? It is OGC here. Welcome to today's video. Today, we're going to revisit an older topic for an, a video that we did before. Uh, this video is going to be how to increase your gold cap. So it is super important to be able to increase your gold cap. That way, you guys can use the coolest troops in the game uh, as much as possible. So first, to, to really start with a uh, gold cap, we have to keep in mind that your gold cap, which is located uh, in the top right under your army tab, your gold cap is a direct reflection of your bronze cap. So the way that this, uh, this works is your bronze cap over here is a total of all of your command, all of your plus bronze troop type of stuff, um, all of that and uh, some, some specific skills and, and other things which we, we will cover, all of that goes into your bronze cap. From there, your gold cap is determined. Now, if you uh, hold down on the gold cap stuff, you can see that it pops up with a little menu that says, for every 12 supply that, that your bronze cap supply is increased, uh, your gold cap is increased by one. So I'll show you how to bring this down. So if you're just starting out in the game, you're going to notice that it's going to say for every 20, uh, because to start off in, in Art of Conquest, it requires 20 bronze cap, which is lo lo located over on uh, the, the middle of the, the screen. Um, every tw 20 bronze cap equals one gold cap. Now there are ways to drop the sound. The lowest that you can get it at this point in time is for every 12 bronze cap, uh, you get one gold. So we're going to go over all of this and so much more. So buckle up and let's go ahead and do it. All right guys, so the first big thing that will really help you out is going to be your hero research. You can start researching your heroes as soon as you complete all the floors in the tactics school, uh, as far as like the normal things to, to complete. Now, under your hero uh, hero research, you're going to notice uh, there's going to be a bunch of different options to, to level up. The two that you should focus on, all four branches, so it doesn't matter for Mage Necromancer, Mech Rogue, uh, Sage General, Gladiator Paladin, you're going to want to do this on all of them. The first is going to be Tier 4. So it, by, by completing Tier 4, what, what is going to happen is you're going to decrease one of the bond supply required to increase your gold cap supply. If you do this in all four, so that, that, that looks like your General Sage, your Mage Necromancer, if you do this under all four trees, that's going to take the required amount of bronze cap, which is 20, uh, in order to create one gold troop. It's going to take that and drop it from 20 down to 16, so it only requires 16 bronze to make one gold. Uh, so that, that's a very, very good thing. Now, as you progress up with levels and everything, there is another one, and this is going to be uh, the Tier 10 research. And the Tier 10 research is going to do the same exact thing. So if you saw at, at the beginning of the video that it only required me to get 12 bronze for one gold, it's because I have all of my Tier 4s and all of my Tier 10s uh, completely done for my hero research, and that allows me to get way more gold cap. As far as buildings, there's actually one building out there that can actually benefit your bronze cap. Uh, this is going to be like your recruitment center. Uh, at every race, it, it has a different name. For a dwarf, it's just a, a center, I, I guess. Um, leveling this up as you build up your, your city and your castle and all, all your other buildings, leveling this up will give you a substantial bonus. So for example, a level 20 center has 1,000 uh, bronze which is huge because 1,000 bronze equals a lot of gold troops. The next thing that's actually going to help you out uh, quite, quite a bit is actually just having more heroes. Uh, the more heroes that, that, that you have, uh, the more and more uh, command you're going to be able to stack up, the more Masonic Scepters, uh, which all in all just means that you're going to have more and more gold troops. Now there is one hero out there that will offer a ton to your gold cap. This hero is actually going to be Avalon because uh, one of his abilities, which is called Natural Leader, uh, will increase your bronze supply cap by 160, and that, that is if it's level 5. So level 5, it increases it by 160. If you have no hero research completed, that's eight troops. If you have hero uh, research completed for tier four and also for the uh, 
uh, tier 10, then I, I, you're talking like 10 troops, uh, 12 troops, maybe even 14 troops is, is pretty significant overall. So for your heroes, you can have different skill setups, uh, which is under the specs, and you can change these as needed. I highly recommend having one set for Avalon where his natural leader is fully maxed out because whenever you go to queue up your gold troops, you will want to uh, increase your gold supply cap by as much as possible so you can queue up all your troops to build and uh, yeah, ju just have that extra tab for Avalon just for queuing things up if you don't run natural leader five out of five. The next big thing that you're going to want to do for all of your, your troops is you're going to want to uh, have the proper equipment on them. So you can see right now my, my uh, Rufio is set up and he is set up uh, for PVP. Uh, all of his uh, gear and, and everything else is set up for him to do maximum damage, which he does a fantastic job of. But what, what you'll want to do is create one whole gear set for all of your heroes uh, that is uh, increasing command as much as possible. So uh, you can switch over super easy by, by selecting the button in, in the top right uh, that says switch. And uh, for me, mine is on hero set 2, so we'll switch over to hero set 2. Now, uh, a couple things to keep in mind. Uh, the first thing to keep in mind is make sure that all of your artifacts are still equipped uh, because uh, the artifacts add a surprising amount of uh, commands. You can see Leo's Pride as a 11 command, so having your artifacts equipped as well is just going to give you a couple extra troops. Now, as far as everything else, uh, just put on uh, gear equipment that offers uh, really high command. So, for example, the face mask uh, offers 18 command and it's a headpiece. Uh, for the trinkets, we have golden visages. Uh, these these will add on a bunch of uh, command as well. Uh, the big ticket item, as far as all of your uh, heroes and, and, and everything else, is going to be a void item, and this is the uh, scepter. So the scepter is a, a pivotal moment in your Art of Conquest journey. When you unlock this, your gold cap is going to grow exponentially. The reason for that is the scepter offers a lot of uh, command, but also it has this little passive underneath that says bronze troop supply plus 30. Uh, that plus 30 along with the command, this one item actually offers 47 to our bronze cap. Uh, that This one item is like two to three gold troops by itself. So it's a very big item. You unlock this in the void at Sage 81. So if, if you're just starting out, your main goal for the void is going to be able to get to void stage 81 as soon as possible. Uh, that also means that gladiators uh, are going to actually give you the most uh, bronze cap besides Avalon because they can equip two of these scepters. Now if you are sitting on a bunch of uh, stat attribute cards, make sure you use them. Uh, it, using the uh, command attribute cards onto your heroes is going to increase the command of your heroes. Remember, every one command increases your bronze supply cap by one. So command is uh, a very good thing to add on to your heroes. Make sure you, you apply these to all your heroes. It's going to help you in PvP. It's going to help you in all aspects of the game. But for gold cap, it definitely will help. Speaking of stats, so when we look at our stats, um, one other big thing that kind of pops up and comes to my mind is actually going to be under our hero masteries. So under our hero masteries, we can actually increase uh, d different uh, stat points just by leveling up our hero masteries. This is available starting at cast level 40. So you can see that uh, under tier 1, uh, we can increase the command of all heroes by plus 5 when this is uh, fully maxed out. Uh, so for all of our heroes, if we have 30 heroes and each one gains uh, plus 5 command, that's going to be actually 150 command. That is awesome. That is going to directly affect your, your gold cap. The other one is going to be uh, tier, tier 7 on, under command. This is going to offer 10 more command when it is fully maxed out to all of your heroes. So if you have 30 heroes, that's going to be an extra 300 command. Uh, that's 300 more bronze cap. That's awesome. You cannot go wrong with that. Um, I would only focus on this if this is going to help you out in other aspects of the game. I would not rush this uh, just for the sake of gold cap. Now this right here is a fantastic looking dragon. However, this dragon is not not going to help us with our gold cap. So what I highly recommend that everybody out there does is I really hope that uh, everyone considers making a research dragon. 
Uh, so a research dragon is going to be centered around uh, the yellow skills. You just need the log logistic, um, eventually when, when you can afford it to be blessed. And also the treasure hunt uh, need, needs to be blessed as well for the building and research buffs. As long as you can have two dragons at level 50 or higher. Too much information, I know. Uh, now the reason why the dragon is very, very important is because of these purple abilities. So the fortitude, ferocity, barbarianism, all that type of stuff. When your dragon, and this might require you to be a little bit higher level, when your dragon is high, high enough level where you can have this uh, blessed cell to lo level 100 and fully level it up, you can see on the bottom uh, it will increase your bronze uh, supply cap by 100. That might not sound like a bunch, but when you have four blessed purples on a dragon, that's 400 more uh, bronze cap. That is a lot of, of uh, gold, gold troops that you can get from a single dragon. Now, even with troop equipment, you can actually go and get more bronze cap. So uh, a lot of people will only focus on a couple different troops uh, when it comes to PvP. I know I am one of those people. But what you can do is on all of your other troops, uh, that you only have four star equipment on them that you're not ever going to deploy. What you can do is uh, for that equipment, you can select equipment that's going to increase your bronze cap supply. So this one piece of equipment on a troop that I'm never going to use offers 22 more bronze cap. Uh, for another piece of equipment, it's another one that increases bronze cap by 22. These things might seem really small and minute, but they add up. It all adds up to give you more and more gold cap. So if I'm never going to use the, the troops and I want their equipment to be at four stars, I might as well get as much benefit as I can from it. Now the other thing that you guys can do is you can try and get positions in your kingdom. So for, for example, if, if you come and you become a, uh, a, a king or something along those lines, your uh, bronze cap is going to be increased. So by becoming a, a king, your bronze uh, cap is increased by 300. If you are something like a first sword or one of those higher tier ones, you get two, uh, 200 more bronze cap. And if you are something like a royal guard or another kind of, kind of like the lesser positions, you will get 100 extra bronze cap. This is a temporary buff, uh, but it can still make a pretty big impact. And also, if you are just starting out, don't forget to uh, level up your, your rank. Uh, this might require a little bit of honor, uh, or this might re re require moving out of the capital, something along those lines. But each one of these offers uh, some amount of bronze cap. Uh, so it's usually uh, 20 uh, and that's at least five of them. So that's an extra 100 bronze cap right there. Now you can increase your bronze cap even more by moving into a, uh, a specific type of city that has something called uh, an army cap spot on it. Uh, so the army cap spot you can see right here will offer a bonus of plus 100 to your army cap. That plus 100 is to your bronze supply. As long as you are on the, that tile, you're going to get plus 100 to your bronze supply. With these cities, you can actually get more um, by being a governor. So if you are a governor of a small or, or normal sized city, you're going to get plus 100 bronze supply. And if you're also on a, a, an army cap spot in a city that, that has them, along with being a governor, that's going to be in total 200 army bronze uh, supply cap increase. Now, if you are a governor of like a giant or a large city, you can actually get more than up to 200 uh, ar army cap just from being on that spot. So just like when we queue up research or uh, building or an anything else, it matters what is available to you right now and what do you have deployed. So if I have my PvP dragon out as I'm trying to increase my, my gold cap so that I can queue up a bunch of troops, it's not going to work. It's all dependent on what equipments you have uh, on right now, which dragon is out, which tile you're moved in on, are you a governor or not, do you have a position or not. So your gold cap can kind of fluctuate to, depending on what your setup looks like. So what I highly recommend is uh, just make everything super easy so you can struggle through, kind of like how I have the uh, d different gear sets for, for my heroes. So if I need to do PvP, I have one whole set just for that. If I need to queue things up, I have a whole nother set for all of my heroes. So that means I, I can go, I can move in, I, I can move on to a tile, wh whatever it looks like, and then queue up my troops. Now when all of that is said and done and you have the uh, proper four purple dragon uh, deployed and everything else, 
you can go in and you can, you can see that your uh, gold cap will increase. So ours is now up to uh, 683, that's fantastic. More gold cap, more fun. So with that guys, if you don't mind, smash the thumbs up button, make sure that you subscribe if you have not already. Go down into the description of this video and all videos, check out all the cool stuff, and I look forward to seeing you guys soon. Have a wonderful day.